New versions of the Smart Dual Disc and Gazer are available to the public and I could really use your help testing them. Hello Duelists, welcome back to the Crown Corp channel, my name is Bram and yes, finally after more than a year or so, a new version of the Smart Dual Disc and Gazer is finally available to the public, so yeah, that's definitely a reason to celebrate. Now to be honest, on the Smart Dual Disc side, not that much has changed. It's, it's really difficult to explain to non-developers, but I had a lot of dependencies that I needed to upgrade just to be able to get the, the project functioning again. And yeah, it's sometimes a bit of a struggle. In this case, it definitely was. And that's just to get the project up and running again. So now that that has happened, I can finally continue working on the Smart Dual Disc. So yeah, that's great. A lot more has changed on the Smart Dual Gazer though. There are some new effects when monsters are destroyed or when they use their effects. And also more 3D models have been added. I've added all the models that we have for monsters that were included in the first Speed Jewel GX box. Now that I think about it, that was actually released quite a few months ago, but I still have to look for 3D models for the newer Speed Jewel products. There is also a better card model now for monsters that don't have their own model. So yeah, it now has better attack and defense positions, and theoretically we do support every card that the Speed Jewel format has to offer now. Also a lot has changed under the hood for the Smart Jewel Gazer, so that is something that you might not really notice, but for me as a developer it is a lot easier to work in the code now, which is great. Now if you don't know how to install the apps and you don't have them already, well it's actually really simple. If you're an Android user, you can just download the Smart Dual Disk and Gazer from the Play Store, the links for that are in the description. If you're an iPhone user, you need to install Test Flight first via the App Store. It is an app created by Apple and it allows you to beta test other apps. So once that app is installed, you can then download the Smart Dual Disk and Gazer via Test Flight by using the links down in the description. The first time you use the Smart Dual Disk, you'll need to create an account. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to do with pre-made decks or you can create your own deck if you want to. To create your own deck, you need to upload a YDK file which contains all the cards you want to use in your deck. If you need more information about that, I've created a special video where I explain the deck building process in more detail. Remember that we're still only supporting the Speed Duel format, so we won't be able to use any cards that aren't available in this format yet. Once you've created your deck, you can start dueling. All you need to do is create a room and then share the room code with your opponent. As soon as your opponent joins the duel room, the duel will start. Who goes first is randomly decided decided by the Smart Duel server. If you want to spectate the duel using the Smart Duel Gazer, all you need to do is enter the room code you've used before. You can then select who you want to spectate. The person who created the room will, do, will be the first person in the list. Once you're in the room, you can place down a virtual playmat on a real surface and then spectate the duel. So yeah, that's what's new in the Smart Duel Disc and Gazer and also a refresher on how to use them. I've already found some bugs myself while I was testing these apps after releasing them. So yeah, maybe that wasn't very clever of me. So yeah, over the next couple of days, I'm going to fix the bugs that I've already discovered. But I could really use the help from the community on this one. So yeah, if you want to help me out, all you need to do is install the new version of the Smart Dual Disk, the Smart Dual Gazer, and then just duel and see if you discover any bugs or issues. And if you do, please let me know here in the comments on YouTube, or maybe even better, let me know on Discord. Our Discord is also a really great place to meet new people and to find opponents that you can duel against. A link for that would also be down in the description. If you're wondering what else I'm working on right now, I'm actually doing some work on the Smart Dual server. One of the things that I would really like to add to the Smart Dual server is support for private dual rooms. That way you can just join a room and look at 3D models anytime you want without needing an opponent. There are many more things that I'd like to do or that I'd like to add to all these apps and to the server, but that's probably a topic for another video. I've also ordered more parts that I need for the physical dual playmats, so yeah, hopefully they will arrive soon and then I continue working on that as well. Many people have subscribed after I released the previous video, so if you're one of the new joiners, welcome and thank you for being here. And to everyone who has been here for a while, thank you for your continued support. And speaking of continued support, thank you to all the patrons out there who keep supporting the project as well. You guys are amazing and I really wouldn't be able to do this without you. I hope that you liked this video and that you'll be able to have some amazing duels using this module project. And I also hope to see you in the next video.